Hello, guys and dolls. Mike's here. <laughs> <laughs> They're staining. They're staining. It was so Forrest Gump. Right. <laughs> Excellent. So, <laughs> we are going to be doing a speed run today, but before we get started, roll those credits and a word from our sponsor. PCBWay are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry-leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry-leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining, and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. So today we are gonna be pitching the Ellie Goose Saturn Ultra 3 12K against two Really average blokes. Yeah, against two out of shape, contextually middle-aged, if we're going to live a really long time, mm. uh, to see whether or not we can print a full build plate full of custodies. Allures. Pardon? Custodies. Allures, I think we're doing. Okay. If we can print a full build plate of custodies allures on the Eligu Ultra 3 12K satin. Ultra. Ultra. Mac 3 Turbo. Mac 3 Turbo Elite Plus. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we've already sliced the model. We're going to start this timer in a minute. Um, and we're going to take this GoPro. Gorilla filming. Gorilla filming. We are going to, uh, we're going to see whether or not in the time it takes for the Saturn to do a full build plate of Warhammer, we can get in the car, get down to our local games workshop, buy a pack of custodies, come back, open up the pack of custodies before the build plate of, uh, of miniatures is done. What is quicker, printing your own or going and buying some? I live roughly a seven minute drive with a three minute walk away. I'd say more than three minutes. I'm gonna say it's, it's five minutes. Not if we truffle shuffle it. Yeah, but we're not, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, if either of us sweat out of this, then you'll see how dedicated we are to the channel. It's probably about 10, 15 minutes for me to get to our local games workshop for us to, uh, and, and for us to buy the custodies, turn around, come back, and then get that box open. And the slicer is saying 40 minutes. So it's, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. So we're going to do side by side and um, this machine's screen will go to sleep halfway through. So we've got a nice useful uh, iPad here and we're going to film the entire thing from our side. On so you'll see the minute we walk back in here, who wins? So everything from this point on is going to be only one take, which interestingly enough, we've never done. And I'll also be amazed if it works. I'm 34% sure that it will. Yeah. And that's a honey badger promise. Yeah. So. It's good odds as well. Good, that's pretty good, yeah. Right, so let's get this printer on and see if we can and see if we can outrun it. Right, let's fill it up. Start that timer. So here we are guys, getting ready to go on the trip. You can see. You can see that we've got the timer going. We're 23 seconds in already. We're gonna press print, USB file, and it's legs. Print, and we're off. Gorilla filming. Have you got your keys? Yeah. Oh good, this is a good start. Let's go. Just bear in mind as well, also, we're not allowed to film in the game's workshop. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm taking off, I'm taking off my microphone, I'm taking off my microphone. Run! Quickly! Oh, I've got my microphone. Yeah. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Get the microphone. Just throw it in a bush. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Safety first. Go. I mean, probably just turn off the radio. Yeah, because that'll get us demonetised. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cameras, uh, cameras on the case. So don't turn it off then. Right, one turn this <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I just kept turning it down, turning it down. Why didn't you just press it? It turns it off. I don't know. <sighs> it's not even my car. I'd like to look at the pictures. But that—that's not okay. Fine. So while we're doing the trip, th the point of this is to try and show how far we've come in resin printing, right? The idea that this was even possible just five years ago. Less than that. It, it just wasn't. You couldn't do it. You couldn't you couldn't say that you would get a plate of a plate, a build plate full of stuff out in anything less than two or three hours. In which case you could very rightly say, oh, I'm just gonna go and buy them, I just can't be bothered to wait, I've got to paint them and everything else, like there's loads to do. So the point of this video, stay in this lane, um, is, to, uh, is to try and show just how far we've come in resin printing. Are you sacrificing quality? Well, not with the Ultra 12K, no, because that pixel density of 19 by 24 microns means that you are going to end up with really high quality prints that are comparable to the stuff that come out of Games Workshop and you're not sacrificing anything. And we we're stuck Sunday up. traffic as well. Sunday traffic, first set of lights. Come on! We're already three minutes in. Gonna, this is going to be really close. This could be a really pointless video. <laughs> that's my that's my biggest concern that we go through this. And it's just pointless. Oh, come on. Because then you've got the whole thing of what's quicker to build. So the build plate we've done is in pieces, but it's very straightforward as to what goes where. When you buy the Games Workshop kits, they take so long to build. All you've got on these is you've got main body and then... You've got torso, legs, yeah, helmet, right, the plume that goes on the top of the helmet, yeah, and then a left and right arm. Okay. And then you've got shoulder pads and all to go on top. Yeah. So, to build, the Elegoo ones are going to be a hell of a lot quicker because it's, because I've done... It's, it's very well, so that, that'll be where. the second part of this video because the first part is us going and getting them and seeing how quick that is the second part is that mike's going to build his custodies and we are going to have to wash cure de-support and build a, build and then prime our custodies so mike's going to have to oh Oh, gorilla filming, things go wrong. Gorilla filming. Um, so, um, so Mike's going to have to build and prime his models, and we're going to have to wash, cure, build and prime our models. So we're going to see whether or not that's, you know, whether that's going to be part two of the video to see uh, to see which one's quicker on that part as well. Because ours are less parts. Printed You're, ones are less parts. The, the, but the elegant ones are going to be quicker to build. They're quicker to build, but you've got to wash and cure them. Yeah. It's 15, 20 minutes in washing and curing them. Good Lord, there's some hideous people in South End. Yeah, there is. This is, oh. Oh, that city status really. Really, really lowered the tongue. Really knocked a lot of stuff off of us, I'll tell you that.
five minutes, six minutes in almost. We are almost at the car park before we have to start walking across to, uh, to where we are, to our games workshop. Although it's only literally like a mile and a half to it, it's not a quick mile and a half. Apparently not. Oh, stuck at the lights again! And there's a proper queue of traffic as well. Oh. Why does everyone have to get custodies on the same day? We'll get there and they'll all be sold out because everyone's, everyone's on their way there. Yeah, that'd really annoy me actually. <laughs> If someone just came in and bought all the custodies and just, it's just, it's just, I'd just be like, why? Why have you done this? Well, in that part of the video, it'd have to be us driving all the way home to pick up the ones I've already bought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. So the Elegor will easily win because it's 40 minutes to get to my house. Yeah. <laughs> So we are going to park in a car park that we are not really supposed to park in. Yeah, and I've not got good memories of this car park. <laughs> there was an incident, it's not important whose fault it was, um, where Mike inadvertently got locked <laughs> in the car park. <laughs> because I was told where to park. Uh, and it's not important to say who it was who did that, because that doesn't help. But. But at 11 o'clock at night, I was 40 minutes away from home with no car. Yeah. And, I mean, and we both had to work the next day as well. I drove Sunday. you home. It was a Sunday when it was yeah, both yeah, had to work I the was, next day. Yeah, but I drove you home. Yeah. No, well, after Anna came and picked us up in the car, which she was really happy about. Well, I mean, I can't really be held responsible for other people being Anna. He, like, take ownership of your own happiness. It's not getting me to do everything. Smashing the, uh, smashing it into the fucking windshield. Time check, eight minutes 35 to get us to a car park. And then, and then we're off. Oh, and I've broken the camera now. There we go, I fixed it. Right, you take that. Hold the camera a bit, that's it. Oh, it's so windy. Right, this way. I haven't even got my phone. That's how quickly we left the house. Yeah. Which is going to be this a real is, problem because the only This is phone sunny south end. Yeah, yeah. Look how sunny it is. Glorious south end. I can tell you now, I'm not putting in a run for this. So. No, I'm not running. I don't run in emergencies. You're, not, you're trying to throw your legs forwards. Yeah, I am. <laughs> ah, ah. I haven't even got my phone. And the only phone number I know is my own phone number. Oh, good job I've got mine then, haven't I? But you don't know any of the phone numbers no, that I know. No, I know yours though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's an escalator over here. Cool, mod comes here. I don't know that it's working, so I'm going to get to the Oh, it is! Hooray! That's the first time in six years that's been working. It's probably all full of urine as well. I like escalators. Are we wearing matching trainers? Fair enough. We're both sketches. Yeah, we're cool people. Bros. Yeah. Go. The world's dead deadest shopping centre. Honestly, there's nothing here. Everything's closed forever. Every everything is closed. 
they're opening up a um, it's like uh, an adventure evening thing it's like an adventure bar so um what where you just run around the shopping center doing parkour <laughs> jumping on the benches got like. axe throwing and stuff oh, like right, that okay. um i thought people would just be doing cartwheels on benches and no things. no <laughs> i think it's downstairs but at some point that opens that's meant to be really good I don't know what that is. I don't know what that place is. Oh, rock climbing wall. <laughs> Stupid video. <laughs> no, I can't go and do rock climbing. Not that you'd be able to do it. I could rock climb. No, you couldn't. I've climbed over loads of rocks. You could climb on to sit on a boulder. My whole driveway's rocks, and I climb over that all the time. Well, there's small rocks, I know, yeah. but still. Is that it? That's it, battle bar. Boom battle bar. Boom battle bar, yeah. So I think we go out that way. Well, we go you've, got, you've, got, you've got a pole dancing shop as well. Yeah. Are you uh, are you against pole dancing? For no, it's just where they come to get their g-strings and stuff. Probably. It's a very niche. Uh, it's a very niche shop. Oh, it's pole fitness. Oh. It's not a pole dancing shop. Beginners welcome. You could go. I could, I am a beginner. That's definitely how I would describe myself with my pole, where I put my pole dancing skill levels at. <laughs> right. It's the 5 -0. Oh, they've got massage chairs. No, we've got no time. <sighs> oh, it's down there. Down there, isn't it? Yeah. This is the space you're looking for. Clearly not, we've never seen the truck around, isn't it? Even the wimpy shop. Even the wimpy shop. You can order that on delivery, and I can't The think world's of, most expensive takeaway. I can't think of a sadder thing to do than sit at home and eat a takeaway wimpy. What, wimpy and chips? Yeah. Or bendy sausage? Yeah. I just can't, I can't think of something sadder. Skateboards. Oh, uh, Bang the tent to try and boost myself forwards. <laughs> right, we're going to have to swap over cameras now yep. because we're not allowed in the shop. We're not allowed to film in the shop. Uh, they have done a global press release in all the Games Workshop shops to say they are not allowed to talk to the press, and we apparently count as the press. So, uh, so yeah. Mike's just walking in, shouting out the word custodies. <laughs> 30, 14 minutes, 14 minutes. So if this track's going back, he's going to be in there for a couple of minutes, getting the custodies. And if this tracks, it's going to be, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. He's got the custodies in hand. He's got his primer. Come on. No one at the till. Nightmare. Poor service games workshop. This is what you get for not letting us film in there. <laughs> I can't, I can't even show you the shop. That's how, that's how far this has gone. <laughs> Come on. 15 minutes, 22. So if this track's going back, then we are looking at like uh, about half an hour total. So it's gonna be whether or not this sticks to its whether or not it sticks to its timelines i can smell a subway as well and now i'm really hungry 
Oh, because I'm next up. I'm literally standing next to Subway. That was embarrassing. Okay. And we can't even cut that bit out. <laughs> bag. Mike's just taken out his second mortgage so that he can uh, so he can afford the custodians. Receipts going in. We have it. Oh, Steve won't in the bus. <laughs> Just stand by the bag. We've got the custodians. Just stand there dribbling under the table. <laughs> As we go through the abandoned, uh, the abandoned warehouse, which someone is still very diligently uh, cleaning. Not there's anybody. Not there's anybody who's going to care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing, just the, the Bee Gees playing. FIFA! We know how to do it! Sometimes this shop center doesn't the look of the zombie, zombie apocalypse about it. I tell you what, at night, this would make an amazing zombie apocalypse place. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Got the bag. Be really annoying if it turns out this hasn't. Uh, Super annoying because we'll be just talking shit for about <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bit of a nightmare. I'm 34 percent sure that it's definitely recording though, so you're fine. Which, as we've established, is as close as it gets to being uh, on this channel as to being as to being a guarantee. Good That's a guarantee. Oh, they're in the massage chairs. Yeah. <sighs> Quickly. Oh, the fuzz. 5 -oh. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Jesus, I feel safer just as I walk towards him. I can feel the, the, the aura. The aura of safety that Protection. he creates. Yeah. Protection is... Absolutely. It's coming out of him like a holy glow. <laughs> I think that might just be the. I think it might just be the sun bouncing off his head. <laughs> it's hard to say. Well, fingers crossed he doesn't watch the channel. <laughs> Still, it'll be a comment. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it was. Oh, comments are welcome. But just, just a single comment of. Oh, oh, guys, come on, come on now. So we are at nearly 19 minutes. It's gonna be so close. It's gonna be genuinely tight. Tired, bro. You're tired? Yeah. Oh, we've been putting in a pace, have we? Mm -hmm. Right. I generally don't do much walking. I like to pull up to the doors of the shop. What, just fall out into it? Do I just shout out the window? <laughs> Bring me the things! Oh, no escalator going down. No, there's no escalator That's going helpful. down. So we can um, come out with the uh, shopping. Well, yeah, there's no it's a lift, but I ain't getting it. Probably a wee inside there. Uh, well, I can tell you now that it's broken more often than it's not broken. So again, the elevator would win. Yeah, it's, I, <laughs> I wouldn't even describe it as an elevator. I'd describe it more as a really trappy cupboard. A coffin. Yeah, that occasionally moves up and down. <laughs> <laughs> At least once, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Unless there's some sort of police investigation, sometimes I come back up. Yeah. yeah. We're at 20 minutes. So it's now going to be just a case of how long it takes us to get back. So usually, we wouldn't, if we was here, we wouldn't have gone Games Workshop, would we? No, we'd have gone Wayland. We'd have gone to Wayland Games, but... Wayland Games doesn't stock everything in their shop because they've got a massive online shop. Yeah. So the only way you could order these through Wayland is to order them online for pickup, then wait until you get an email saying they've been dispatched, at which case they just walk across the street with it and yeah. put it in the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. we couldn't guarantee that it happened today. 
I'll tell you now, it might be a little bit quicker getting home than it was getting here now, think about it. Back in the car. Safety first. Oh, oh, right, my, right, right, my custodies. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm going to start calling them. <laughs> oh, oh, just had a nasty blow to my custodies. So I suppose it's better than calling them the pox walkers. True. Yeah, he's not going to see you. No, he's just going to drive in. Yeah, he's just going to drive out. Just, he's just, just didn't even look. And he wasn't even coming out. He's yeah. just straight in his car. Just trying to park properly. Oh, what is in that? a world's smallest car? Yeah. Right. So out here and left. Where are these droves of homeless people coming from? Why is there so many people walking there? I don't know. Perhaps it's a flash mob. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably not. <laughs> right, so that way. But the traffic lights won't turn left. All the flash mobs do around here is rob shops. Yeah, yeah. When they say flash mob, what they mean is flash riot. That's usually just a JD Sports. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's only because people want those bags. <laughs> bags are the most valuable thing in a JD Sports. This might be the clean. Oh, no, never mind. I take that back. I'm just about, about to say this is. I thought this was the clean of a senior car, and then I looked in the back, and that's not the case. True. <laughs> <laughs> My wife uses that car as a storage cupboard. Yeah. not to give live directions back to my house for, <laughs> for everybody who's watching the video because <laughs> I feel like it could end up being a situation what like groupies potentially I mean I got into this for the same reason everybody got into the women. printing the women um, and uh, yeah we haven't been let down we haven't no beating them off with a stick yeah a 3d printed stick which occasionally breaks but we can bring other ones that's fine Traffic lights. You must know where we are now because yeah. we're close to Philippine. Yeah, if we were to just turn left here, we could go to a uh, 3D Philippine. Yep, who don't sell custodies, but they do sell resin and filament, filament, and they have a huge selection like exotic filaments. Like some of them do little dances and stuff. Yeah, they all wear little G-strings. Yeah. Well, this is the slowest I think we've ever driven anywhere. Yeah. And it's not on purpose. We've just got cars in front. Of us. Yeah, I was going to say there's traffic. It's not. <laughs> it's not a. It's not a stalling tactic. We're at 24. We're 24 and a half minutes. It's all gonna be, it's all gonna come down to whether or not there is actually savage traffic. Because if we get into traffic at any point, then that, that could be, that could be the end of this. I've just realized as well that I haven't got the keys to get in my front door. <laughs> so we're gonna have to hope. And I locked the uh, garage doors. You locked the garage doors? Yeah. Well, that's okay. Well, there's that then. It's fine. My wife will more than likely be in. Or she won't. Oh. If she isn't, it's a really quick finish to this video. I was going to say, yeah. The finish of this video is going to be me trying to climb it's over like the, a uh, fence. The Elego finished two hours previous to us getting home. <laughs> yeah. The good news is we've timed the, uh, the local locksmith and he's really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
You'd have to do a paratrooper roll over a fence. Uh, yeah, there's certainly things like that that could happen. And if that is the case, I will film it. Right. Well, let's just hope that she's home. I love the way you, you came out in such <sighs> eagerness you didn't bring your phone or your keys. Yeah. Oh, there's loads of traffic. Yeah. Just... <laughs> oh, there's loads. <laughs> just to be clear, guys. We are not, <laughs> but we'll be fine. It'll be fine, or it won't be. One of the two. Depends on who you're voting for. If you're voting team, uh, if you're voting team Warhammer. So, how many custodies would you need to buy to make an army? Depends how big you want your army. Well, like, like, like a how long's a piece of string? So, I've got the com the combat patrol box. Yeah, which. You can play a game with just that. Okay, so a normal a normal army. You could then, just use that. Right, but a normal person, so, so just that would be the army. You what could, you've got. Yeah, you could get away with it, yeah. Yeah. In a, a small game, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. That's the whole point of the combat patrol. If you buy that box, yeah. you've actually got a playable army. Okay, all right, fair enough. And But that's not enough for me. I want lots of tanks and planes. Yeah, yeah, planes, trains, and automobiles. And yeah. how much did it cost you to get that? To get this? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, I think it was 34 quid for the okay. three of them. So the same as a bottle of resin, basically, or two bottles of resin, really, if you're getting... Yeah, if you're getting it from... AliExpress. AliExpress is two bottles of resin. Two bottles of resin, so two So with two bottles of resin, you could literally print out 50. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got the cost of I'm not being funny, but if you put two bottles of resin into the Apex Maker, you could print out 50 in under an hour. Yeah. Yeah, you could. <laughs> but as well, the Apex Maker is £1,200. A very different printer to what yeah. we're doing now. Yeah, yeah, including shipping. It's £1,200 yeah. on the Kickstarter, about two grand if you wait until yeah. the Kickstarter's finished. So I don't really think that's that comparable. I suppose what I'm trying to figure out is, so you're paying £500 to get the Saturn, the Saturn 3 Ultra 12K, um, then you're paying... I would say for the size, so if I was reproducing the army I've printed the Chaos Army mm. you would be probably spending £600 £700 to recreate that in custodies okay so cost wise the st the setup cost of a, of a Saturn is obviously it's 500 it's, it's four five hundred pound or sorry it's $499 plus then the um the cost of the resin and all that stuff so what we are doing um we're doing a video for somebody else um and i have currently got on a um custodes orion gunship you can only buy this from forge world and it's 350 pounds to buy um and the printer says it's going to take half a litre of resin so, and is that all on the Apex, is it? Um, I sliced it all on the Apex first, but I have now printed it on a different printer, though. I wanted to print it all in one go to see how much resin it would use. Like, slice it all in one go yeah. to see how much resin it would use, because obviously the printer I'm doing on, I'm not doing it in one piece. So, right. so I'm printing it in probably three build plates. Right. We're at 29 minutes 35 really close we are i mean again uh, to be clear guys traf half a mile away traffic but uh we are we're not even half a mile we are two and a half two and a half three minutes away at the moment it's people going out for picnics on a sunday sunday traffic but again the vast majority of people would be going out, but going out on a Sunday. <laughs> like, yeah. Difference is, is that if you were to put these on before you went to work, they'd be done before you got to work. Yeah. <laughs> like, so to set up, to set up and get yourself two liters of resin and a and a uh, and a and a satin would set you back about 
550 quid. Yeah, because you could always go on Amazon, you can buy the two litre bottles of Sunloo for 35 quid. Yeah, and two litres of resin would must print you at least 50 or yeah, 60. Yeah, it's going to do you 50. Like 50 custodies. So... But 50 of anything, to be Yeah, <laughs> and then, but then 50 custodies for actually buying 50 custodies from... Um, Games Workshop would have to set you back six, seven hundred quid, wouldn't it? Probably, I reckon, probably about. Well, you could buy two combat patrol boxes, and that'd cost that set you back two hundred pound. Right. But you would also have two lots of the same. Yeah. So that's not what you would do. You'd buy the different ones. So you'd probably be looking, I reckon, to for fifty. I reckon you'd probably be looking about four hundred quid. Okay, so so setup cost but is comparable. But there tanks and stuff in there, yeah. which... And then as you expanded your army, obviously you've not got the cost yeah. of the satin anymore. So, you know, the same goes if you decided to switch armies and go with a different, you know... I am also, at the minute, printing a grav tank for the custodies. Right. The grav tank is £150. So, the, we for are the custodies, on, we the, are tanks, on my road. the tanks are only available from Forge World. Right, okay. We are on my road. We are pulling in. We are 32 minutes and three seconds round trip. We are just, just pulling onto the driveway now. Oh, she's got out. She's got out. Son of a... Oh, excellent. Right, you take that. I'll have to get the spare key, hold on. Don't forget your custodies. Every second counts now. You forgot the code. Got it. This is like the crystal maze. I'm in. I'm in. Hello, King. I'm not being funny, we're at 65%. So we have beat it. We have beat it by way. So let's leave this to run out. Uh, but we at least know that. <laughs> so just to be clear, running the door, 65%, 34, 34 minutes. This is saying. So let's just, that has got Another 17 minutes to go. Time used, 33 minutes. Remaining time, 17. Normal exposure time, 350. What settings did you slice this on? Fast. I think that's wrong. I didn't use fast resin. I used normal resin, fast. Okay. Right, well, there you have it. Stock settings. So, uh, so we are 68%. We'll leave this to finish, and then we'll see what kind of time we're looking at. Stay tuned for part two.
Right, so as you can see, this ended up taking 47 minutes, which, just to be clear, is still ridiculously quick to print off full set of these. So these cost me £35. Um, as we said in the video, the initial outlay of a printer, especially one like this, and if you're going to be using this for miniatures, 12K printer, go for that. Um, this is roughly going to cost you the price of building an army, buying it all, because this is £35 for three models. Free. Um, and what we used there was fraction, a fraction of a bottle. And it be, it, I'm not going to take it off because it's still covered in resin, but it's printed perfectly, all the pieces. Now, if we was going to do part two on this, which we actually haven't got time for because we've got a lot of stuff to film, building these, taking the supports off, washing, curing, building, I know would take me, say it's going to take about 12 minutes to wash and cure, and then I think it would take me about five minutes to build these. These take me ages to build. I am so bad at it. I spent, I spent so long looking at this spruce, trying to find the numbers of what I need, um, or trying to work out the instructions on these. Like, I, I love painting them. I hate building them. Absolutely detest building these. So, what I will do though, is I will build these, and I will build them, and I will paint these, and I will paint them. We will then do a comparison, side by side, to see how good these are, compared to these. Are these exact copies of these? We will see. So, I hope you like this video. It was a little bit different from what we usually do. It was just something we come up with and thought, this will be fun. Had we done this at my house, the printer would have won. The closest Games Workshop to me is about a 15 minute drive and then about a five minute walk. So, had we have done this at my house, printer would have won. Just so happens the Games Workshop here is very, very close to James's house, which, you yeah, know. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, let us know what you think, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.